this is what well, only cult master. Uh, I do have the cult picture kind of put up. I mean, he's over there. See? With, the, with the spirit. And we got my favorite butthead from Texas online. Okay, and this is. Too dumb to run. Stands his ground. It's just like I do. I've been on the phone with some financial assistance for my gum disease and uh, all my teeth falling out left and right. And I, I do consider myself an entertainer. Yeah, well, it's spread and error, and this lady knows it. You know. Honestly, I'm I'm not going to say her real name. I'm just going to call her Giggles, because when I first heard her on the phone, she's so pleasant, and we were running into dead ends, literally dead ends, because either I didn't make enough money or I made too much. Oh yeah. On every direction, it was unbelievable, and she really got into her homework because I entertained her. Basically, as we spoke, and like I said, I'm just gonna call her giggles. Some people are trained in that, and you have to learn by trial and error. That's you right. Know, and I like said, that. you gotta research this because it takes me for hours because it's eating my butt, it's poisoning my whole system. Okay, it really is, and, yeah. and it's like it's eating my right kidney apart. I do too, and I record calls, but I have not recorded giggles. I promise you, I wouldn't do that. Yeah. But I did Lincoln Heights, um, a medical dental clinic. I recorded them. Word verbatim to where they said they'll just take it out of your social security check, call. And. Um, Oh, of course. Hey, bro, Bobby, this man the text dash with the steers and quares and go with pile. You know, and he's freaking thinks he's dying. Well, I keep him alive. Because I fucking talk to this dude every day, basically. As I did Sam F2000. But I, see, I think this is a major holiday for for his people. And uh, I really wanted to be there this time of year and I can't afford it because I still am waiting to get my teeth fixed. And, and just take it out. And said, Hey, Sam, why well, might come out with just no dentures and my gums still healing. You know, yeah. it's a, because my wife yeah, even my agreed. Life, my gums are shrinking. Yeah, see? Get old, motherfuckers. Get old. Excuse my language, giggles, but you know, this is God's honest truth. And um, but my son's gonna pick this up from another country and put it on ghosters. And the ghosters ends up with a Z, not an S. I will post the link in Facebook under my real name, which you know what it is. And this is YouTube. This is a cult. Cult. I get nervous when my real name floating around out there. I don't give a fuck, Bobby. I do. I, I use pseudonyms. I learned that a long time ago. I made a mistake to use my real name. I, I don't use my real name. Well, Bob Man, you're using half of it. Just put you on front street, didn't I? Come on, I got the phone up right next to the mic. <laughs> Say something. Don't be blind chilling. Oh yeah. <laughs> Cheech and Chong. Yeah. 
That's the motherfucker that I put my studio right there on the phone. Flying shitlins on the phone. You know what? I you know what? I just think up in smoke with the big bamboo paper. And we put an ounce of barrel warning in it when we was young lads about fifteen years old. And you guys wasn't even born yet. Duh. <laughs> they don't even have no idea. That son of a bitch was 12 inches long, that paper. And you put a whole ounce of marijuana in it. And see, that's the thing they don't understand. Marijuana is an herb. Okay, if you just happen to set that plant on fire outside your door and smell that smoke coming out of it. Funny things just may happen to you. Yeah. Yeah, I ran short on rolling paper so I ended up smoking my big bamboo uh, uh, rolling paper. Uh, what, what was that? Up in smoke. Up in smoke. I have all the teaching strong stuff. Bailiff, whack his pee pee. Bailiff, whack his pee pee. Yeah. He was doing LSD in court, still tripping. In the uh, 70s, early 70s, I didn't even have a TV in my apartment, but I'd sit there and play Cheech and Chong and sit there and smoke and everything, you know. And, and have my girlfriend there and everything, you know, but and listen to Neil Young Harvest album. This was in the early seventies. Oh yeah. I lived in a village in town, Houston, which is basically a predominantly gay area. But uh you know, <laughs> I liked it. I liked the area. It was in the uh hey. shadow of the skyscrapers, you know. So what? You know, people are too judgmental about others. Now, we all both know who we are. We're heterosexual. We love to eat. What is it? What do we eat, Bobby? Come on, cover pile. Country Western nightclubs. I've been to the black nightclubs. But if you want to have fun and have a good time, you go to a gay uh, nightclub. You got every kind of person you can imagine. It ain't all just gay. Hey, remember, remember me telling you yesterday, this gay dude, and I didn't know he was gay. I really didn't. He uh, started taking me to work and stuff when I was working on a side on Social Security and actually could make some money for a while. And now I'm pouring a box of rocks. Really, I am. Uh, the breadwinner is my wife. I... I, I don't know which way I'm going this time with this gum disease. They're black. And the ones that ain't falling out yet, giggles, are coming out. They're just falling apart. And they're eating me up, literally. You don't get it. It took me one, two, three, four, five hours to be composed to do this. Okay, because I am an entertainer and I'm a professional at it. I make an ass out of myself and you too. Okay, Giggles, I'm not going to mention your name. From. Yeah. You know where, honey? I, I, I gave you my real name for Facebook and I gave you Cult Kidwell. Okay, on YouTube. Now, this will be in the Get Back. The Get Back playlist on there on Cult Kidwell. It will be on Get Back. Get Back to where you once belong. Get Back, JoJo. Ba 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 ba. She came in through the bathroom window. Do, 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 do. Yeah. I mean, this was the days. You know, Joe Cocker did it, Paul McCartney did it, the Beatles did it. Everybody nipped something. You know, and here's these bastards 
trying to write my cable company after I did the underground radio ten and a half years. So I'm just going to put the ghosters up and fuck with you. Because I'm paid up on my account for another year. Yeah, see, that's what it is. It's still underground for now. Yeah, and yes, ma'am, I do have a track um, hole. Um, I've been gutted from below the belly button all the way up. Because they can save my life, but they can't get my teeth out. Think about it. Without thousands of God blessed dollars. I'm pretty damn upset about that shit. They want no orthodontists and dentists. I can get all my medical taken care of, but guess what? I can't get my teeth taken care of. They're poisoning and eating my bones, freaking alive. Really? Yeah. And, and it's eating me up. Wake up time. Well, see, back then, Bobby, it was like twenty dollars a tooth. They want fifty dollars a motherfucking tooth. Yeah. I'm not making this pretty. When you want to get the picture, this is serious shit. It will kill you. It's affecting my right kidney. Already is is poisoning my lungs. Uh, you guys don't get the program. I ain't got no family. They're all dead. They're a wife. That's all I got is my wife. And I'm lucky and God lucky to have her. And she sits in front of the propaganda box. I come up here and it's giggle said they so oh you become a hermit. Yeah, because I don't want to go in public like that. But I'll tell the whole world. And the whole world will know. If I was in Russia or if I was in Finland, they'd already been taken out of the socialistic government. They provide for the people. But the land of the free wants to charge you money. You know, and they want to, even, I mean, all of Europe, I've talked, most of my real friends, except for a few in America, are from Europe, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and things like that. And how many United States? Cancel America, as I told you before, giggles. Um, because that's what she sounds like. She sounds like she's about 25 years old, and because she's so damn nice, she really is. She, she went beyond the call of duty to try to help me today, way beyond it. And I called her to give her my uh. Facebook name, which is my real name, uh, not all of it, not my middle name, because Colt's my middle name, and you know, so, so I, and I gave her my YouTube, too, I said, honey, I'm going to make this international to the government, because if I die from this, bottom line, you have no idea how much work it was to get cleaned up to do this, and I'm telling you, that's how much energy these things are taken out of me. If you notice, the bombs are all black. When I started looking to get it really done, when I found out, nobody knew. Nobody. For a year and a half or two years ago, and then they started doing commercials on TV, on YouTube, everything else. that I told her to look. I said, watch the guy pull. I'm going to record their commercials because some of them you got to sit through for uh, Vivo um, recordings. And those are ones I, I don't take, but I put them on my 
uh, different accounts because they're primo. To do their best, but you always get a commercial in front of it, and they're 16 seconds long. And it shows you a guy getting put in, say, I want a pack of new ports. He puts his man, I ain't enough money. He gets out a pair of fucking pliers, rips a tooth out of his mouth, and lays it on the counter and says, Is that enough? And then that poor little girl that looks like she's 25. She goes up, picks off her face, side of it. Unbelievable. And you know what? It's just way too late for me. Okay? Cancer is the biggest leading lung disease that there is. Call me tracheotomy, man. I'm going to get 10 tricks. I'm going to smoke me 10 cigarettes at a time. Yeah, I'll go put two of my nose and two of my ears and five more fucking tricky me down here. I swear I am. I'm going to. Watch out. What? What? Hey, Nabisco tits. I want some Nabisco tits too. George Carlin. This is cult. Should see that for you, Jack. Wide and everything else, but due to your age and everything, if you was in your 30s or 40s, you could do something with your, your persona. You really could. <laughs> I still can. Yeah, but it's still, it, it gets harder when you get older. But I keep it up, don't I, Bob? Think about it, I keep it up. And, and I keep doing it, and I, I'm not gonna put my, let my people go down that do care for me, like my son on the ghosters from another country. I got another young lad. And you're out there in the public, you know, and, and DJ uh, parties and everything else and stuff like that. You gotta, you gotta really be mobile. Go on mobile. Oh oh. Mobile by the who? I mean, if you was younger, you could get you an RV and set it up like a uh, like a uh, radio studio, and you could go around and have your picture on the side of your RV, and you could get well known. You know. I've already done that. Been there and back. Oh, this little skinny engine. Okay. The savage beast. I already have done the country over and over four or five times. Canada, you know. See, that's what they don't get. I've been there and done it. I've made my money and blown it off. When you're freaking broke, you're broke. When you're old, you're old. And old and broke, and you're homeless for eight and a half months. God bless it, man. Let us get our feet on the ground. But no, daddy throw a gum disease at me. These are man, not man-made cigarettes. We roll our own out with no chemicals in them. None. Not no chemicals. Chip in to buy a gallon of gas for a VW Volkswagen, and it was only like 19 cents a gallon. <laughs> yeah, I can remember the gas wars. 19 to 23 cents per gallon, and uh, th that's a trap. That would really take it back. You would sit in line. They said there was a shortage of petroleum gasoline, and there was it. And that's when Nixon was in office, and uh, we, we was an Exxon that I used to work for when I was 15 years old with a work release. And he's doing his nebulizer. Because he's still smoking a real cancer sticks. That's the only thing that keeps me alive is cancer sticks with no man-made killers. 
This ain't Richard Pryor running down the hill on fire, smoking freebase cocaine. This is Colt running down the road, smoking a cigarette. Okay? Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, mine's got really strong shoulders and strong back because of this, honey. <laughs> I have a, a little piece drop set of Yamaha Silky Feathers symbols, excuse me. Also downstairs, just way, way too loud. I ain't, I don't have a mixer properly. I do have the one equalizer, but with this broadcaster that I paid many years ago for, um, it's got two telegraphic equalizers in it. And I can get the sound for it, but I can't get the levels of sound done. I have to play my trap set. You know that, bro. You know it. It's just way too loud. So that's why I got my bongos. I wanted a set of congas. Watch this real quick. Watch, check this out. Seven seconds. Watch YouTube zoom me off. 